My name is First Sergeant Bald. I'm an Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technician, also known as an EOD Tech. For the past 15 years, I've had the privilege of serving the multi-service EOD community. As an EOD Technician, your job is equally as important overseas as it is stateside. As a tactical and technical expert, you are relied upon heavily for your explosive knowledge and EOD acumen. Since I've been here, my perceptions changed a lot. I have hold myself to a higher standard and have much more respect for the people that do this job as I've gone through my training. I joined the Army to change things up and hopefully make some money for school and receive some high-end technical training. I didn't initially know anything about EOD. Uh, when going through MOSs with my recruiter, he had suggested EOD. He had told me about uh, bombs and robots and it got me interested, so I said sign me up. It's just sort of amazing how the people here, even though they know the risk and they know the challenges, they do their best because of that knowledge to make sure that you have the skills to be safe and to be able to take care of the problems that are before you. One thing that the soldiers most likely would look forward to is become a master of their craft when it comes to explosives. Um, and once they gain that foundational knowledge from explosive, uh, the school is built upon a manner to build upon itself. So from demolition division, the move into tools and methods where they'll learn very unique EOD tool sets, right, to render safe or dispose of hazards. Core Ordnance Division, where they'll learn how fusing and functioning in ordnance works. From core, they'll move into the ground ordnance division, uh, where they'll learn anything from grenades, projectiles, landmines, and rockets and projos. And then again, it continues to build on itself. Air Division, they'll learn about anything essentially dispensed from the sky. Um, if you think dispensers and payloads, bombs, missiles, all the way down to the ejector seat. They'll learn more or less everything that we learned um, in Afghanistan and Iraq um, for those kind of hazards um, in an improvised manner. So they'll learn how to use the bomb suit properly. They'll learn how to use robots. They'll understand chemical munitions and ordnance and how to properly keep themselves and their assault forces safe in the future. So attributes that we look for in EOD school students, right? The first thing is that they come here physically fit. They need to be competent, caring, dependable, and we need to be able to trust them. Um, from the day that they step foot here at the Naval School Explosive Ordnance Disposal, they're already treated and uh, required to have a higher level of responsibility compared to their peer groups. To be successful here in school, their main focus needs to be EOD school and nothing else. Um, they need to have good study habits. They need to focus heavily to work in a team environment and rely upon others in their class. If you think you have what it takes to live up to our motto, initial success or total failure, this is the place for you.